Hello, friends and family. Greg Burdine here. Uh, this is the first time I've ever doing this, is uh, creating a video uh, to share with y'all on a hobby that I got interested in. It helps me keep calm my nerves and uh, something that's enjoyable. And that is called diamond art painting. If anybody's familiar with it, uh, hit me up and we'll talk some diamond painting. Uh, I have done several paintings, uh, approximately four at this point, and I'm in progress of doing one now that is a pirate ship. And this is a kit put out by Diamond Art, and it is what they call a round diamond painting. It's a full canvas which means that the whole entire canvas is nothing but diamonds or what they call uh, drills and um, so I started doing this one and it is very detailed so I had to do it differently than what I used to do other ones so I'll show you how uh, I broke this down so that um, it'd be easier to work on. Um, also, what I've done is I have this art board. It has these clips here that will hold my canvas and makes a good working surface. So um, I have something that I can lean on. Now to help me better since my eyes aren't all that great. I went out and got this dots light, which basically is a LED light board. And what you do is you plug a USB plug into it. So it has, if you see right here, has the uh, USB plug, it has three light settings, from medium or from low to medium to high. And what you do is you lay your canvas over it and then you can see your um, your little codes that you follow to put your diamonds or drills onto. So here, let me plug this up here. I got a little plug right here. And basically, uh, boom, there you go. So, well, this is just an LED board, light board. Uh, now, what I do is I take my painting. It's rolled up and I keep it in a plastic sleeve so it doesn't get dirty. And then I roll it out. Now, because of what I've done with this painting, was tape it off in sections. So I'm doing one section at a time. So this is what I've already done. Let me turn this off because of these. So this section is what I've already done. There we go. Right here. I'm right now working on this little section here. And what I do is I flip it around this way so I'm not getting into this my working section with my hand. Now basically what this is is a, a fabric canvas with glue that's applied to the surface and the glue is there to keep these drills into place and this is coated or covered over with a plastic film as you go to doing your different sections you peel the plastic film apart well in th this case I used a um, A saran wrap because my plastic film that I had wouldn't fit the, um, the section. 
and I think I might have made a mistake doing that. Because it's hard to get off now. Hopefully tonight I'll be able to get this section done and I don't have to worry about it anymore. This was not a good idea. It does not want to come off. In fact, it is tearing. It's not releasing from the glue. Well, I ain't gonna do that again. Yeah, we're not gonna do that again. See, I got this all on here. Dang it. It's very sensitive, this button. Just barely have to touch it. Well, it's time to. Yeah, oops, missed that. Time to get the um, razor knife out. And try to get this off without tearing the canvas. Tried using wax paper first, but the wax paper tore off onto the glue, so it wasn't good to use it either. Yeah, we're not gonna do this again. That's for dang sure. anybody has any good ideas on how to get this off or to use in place of the, the plastic that it comes with please let me know I thought this was a good idea but it is not I know it's hard to see on the video because it's hard for me to see looking at it. But I can feel it. Ah, jeez. 
Let's see if that'll work. Alright, so now that I got that up, I'm gonna secure my canvas. Okay. Alright, so on these things there's a code to follow all along down this line. And it can be symbols, it could be numbers, it could be letters. Um, so each code corresponds to a different color. Now the colors or the beads or drills come in these packets. And once you open these, it's not very good to leave them hanging around because it will fall out and go all over the place. So what I do is I take them, I put them in these little jewelry cases. You get these at Hobby Lobby, they're $2.99 for a pack of nine, uh, which they work perfect. Um, and then I've got little drawers or totes that I keep them in. I label them with the actual number of the drill because you can, with diamond art, you can get replacement drills at um, any hobby place. Uh, hobby Lobby has them, Michael's, um, what's the, the other place that I go to? Um, Joann's, Joann's Fabrics. They've, they've got all these. And so, basically they're all in, in a little container I put labels on them and they're nice and secure and they just don't go anywhere. Okay, let's see. So when, when you start getting involved, you have a pen or stylus they call it. Uh, this is one I bought. It's a by Diamond Art. Uh, the kit comes with them, but they're kind of small and hard for me to hold on to. This one's a little more uh, aerodynamic, or not aerodynamic, but it's better for gripping. You have these little trays that you put your drills in, shake them out so that they're nice and flat. I see. I'm going to work on. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do a diamond here and this 8322 is the number. So I pull out the box because I am all in number order and look for 8322. And here we go. 83, 8322, whoops, dropped it, 8322, it's a, I don't know, what would you call it, uh, more of a yellowish color, so what I do is I take the tray right here, and I take these and dump them out into the tray, just like that. Put the case to the side and then you take your tray and you shake it back and forth until the drills are in a upright position something like that okay and then you take your stylus you have these little waxes you take your stylus and you dip it into the wax. Turn it a few times like this. Now on your at tip of your stylus, you have wax. So you come over here and 
basically you pick up your drill like that so it's right there on the tip and then wherever you see a triangle or the circle around it that's where you put these down just like that now many people have different ways of doing it some people go one line at a time and they go through different colors I like to do one color at a time because it gets too confusing if you have too many colors at one time. And I just go along the line till I see a diamond with a circle. And then I just keep plugging along. And see, right now it's hard to see. So what I do is I turn the backlight on and now I can see it better. So we just keep plugging away wherever I see that diamond with a circle around it, I pop one in there. Now it's a good idea to do it systematically, like I squared everything off and I just do one section at a time. I do the same thing here and I go one line at a time. There's a diamond right there, pick up another one. And I go where I just left that one off and just go along until I see another one. Boom, put that there. There's another one there. Now because there's one right above it, I would go back to, to my left. And I just keep going and going and going. Just like that until I finish all the diamonds with the circles and then I go on to my next color which would be a P which would be at 8389 which looks like it possibly could be a tan but that's pretty much it if you have any questions you can uh, drop me a line um, my email is gburdine08 at gmail.com. That's G B U R D I N E 08 at gmail.com. Or you can look me up on Facebook or on Twitter. I mean, uh, TikTok. If you have any questions, holler at me. Thank you.